Hey guys, happy Wednesday. It is time to chat about meal planning. So meal planning is one of the tools that I recommend a lot. Okay, 97% of my clients use. Um, as you get more experience, maybe you can get away with a little less structure of a meal plan, but meal planning is so important for results. Planning to fail or failure to plan is planning to fail. So if you aren't making a plan, it's gonna be really hard to stick to it. Also, who comes home and goes, oh, what am I going to have for dinner tonight? Probably not going to help you be successful with your goals if you don't even know what you're going to have for dinner because you probably didn't pull anything out and then you have to figure it out. And before you know it, you've thrown in a frozen pizza. To dot. This is why meal planning is so important. So I don't want it to become this big elaborate thing that you have to do that's going to stress you out. I want you, to, this is my challenge for you. I want you to pick the meal that you're struggling with the most right now. Um, breakfast, lunch, or dinner. And I want you to plan those meals for the next week. Include the weekend. That's the other thing I see people make mistakes with with meal planning is they don't plan to eat meals on Saturday and Sunday. They plan Monday through Friday and then the weekend, well, we'll just go out for this meal or we'll do this or we'll do that. Not really successful. So some tips I have for meal planning if you're gonna plan breakfast, lunches, and dinners for the week. Eat the same breakfast every day. Eat leftovers for, for lunch. So plan to make an extra serving of dinner and eat that the next day for lunch. For dinners, look at your calendar. If you know that you have soccer practice on this day and this kid has this on this day or you're going to an event and you're going out to dinner, plan accordingly. The other thing is, is if you're going to an event or you're going somewhere, you know you're gonna be going out to eat, pick the restaurant and maybe even pick your meal that you're gonna eat beforehand to help you be successful while you're there. I'm not saying every time you need to go out to be, you need to be successful, but if you're going out to eat 20, like 20% 20 or more of the time, you probably want some of those meals to still be on board with what your, what your goal is. So if you're going out to eat more than 20% of the time, you definitely need to be eating meals out according to what your goals are. Um, if you go out to eat once a week or once every couple of weeks, eat what you want. It's cool. But if you are finding that you're going out to eat multiple times in a week and those meals aren't in accordance to what kind of success you're looking to get and what kind of results you're getting, you're not getting results because you're not making those choices when you're going out to eat. And I know that's, you know, like that doesn't even mean you have to eat a salad. Please don't say that. But like, look at the menu. Am I getting a protein? Am I getting a vegetable? What kind of oil and fats are they using? And you can ask these questions at restaurants. So plan your meals to incorporate what is actually going on, on in your life. Um, because if you are not taking account what is your lifestyle to plan your meals, it's never going to work. If you have 20 minutes to make a meal, um, you're probably not making lasagna. Uh, if you have 20 minutes to make a meal, a uh, sheet pan meal with shrimp that you don't have to cut, obviously it just needs to be defrosted and some pre-cut veggies is probably going to be a way better option than something that you're going to have to cut up, chop, prep, and do all of that. So make sure you're looking for things that like line up with the amount of time that you have to do them. Also, Cooking takes a lot less time than we actually think if we take a little bit time to prep when we get our groceries. So I wasn't gonna, I'm gonna talk a little bit about meal prep. I'm not a huge meal prepper. Trevor and Aaron are huge meal preppers. They do a lot of prep. I do very, very little. I cook most of my meals at the time, but I do know what they're gonna be. Otherwise we're in trouble. Um, some of the things that I do for prep is I will cook rice. I cook a couple cups of rice every single week. Um, I use it as a really quick carb. Um, I do really well with it. So I eat a lot of it. Also, I eat a lot of bowl things in bowls, rice, beans, meat, veggies, ta-da, bowl. That's what I, I eat for a lot of my meals. So that's how I, how I think. Um, so a carb can be good. Potatoes, rice, um, starchy vegetables. Those can all be really great options to prep. Um, my vegetables, having my vegetables ready. If I'm having fajitas for dinner, fajitas are a very quick meal to make if my peppers and onions are already cut. So why not cut them when I have time and I'm home from the grocery store? When I get home from grocery shopping, I allot myself one hour, I set a timer, whatever I can get done in an hour is ready my prep for the week. And that is all I do. Whereas Aaron and Trevor, they do a lot of prep. They make a couple different proteins. They prep a couple different veggies. They cut prep some carbs and then they mix and match during the week. Some people specifically make meals and they're, that is their meal prep. The actual meals that they would pull out and like maybe they make sheet pan fajitas. Don't what is it? sheet pans and fajitas? That's all I got today. Uh, they put serving sizes into Tupperware containers and they have grab and go meals. If that's what you need to do, some people prep all their lunches the same all week, the same as I recommend breakfast. So there's a lot of different ways you can go about it. 
Um, but I really, 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 really recommend planning your meals, no matter where you are and what your goals are, you are going to be more successful long-term if you know what you're going to eat, because if you fit failure to plan, it's planning to fail. And none of us want to fail. We all want to be super successful. Get successful with your meal plan. Have a good one, guys.